audacity of the boy took him to his room examined him thoroughly was fully convinced that the boy has the merit took him to the vice chancellor next day vice chancellor was also a mathematician examined him and both of them were convinced of the merit of the boy university rules were changed a first year boy was allowed to sit in the post graduate examination where not only he took the examination after that with the initiative of the vice chancellor and the professor professor he was sent abroad to california where he did his phd in seamans and was that job in the faculty of that university this is the impact of an inspired teacher and surely these teachers are not coming the instant teacher have given you not from other planet other country but from our own country it is for us to find out and locate those inspired teachers <coughs> ladies and gentlemen our economic progress will depend on our ability to innovate india lags behind some of the major economies in innovation though india comprises one sixth of the indian population world population only one in 50 patent applications in the world are filed in india we have abundant manpower whose capacity should be developed by a sustained program of education and training but more importantly we should revamp the system to encourage and generate innovation our academic environment must be conducive for promotion of research increasing the number of research fellowships supporting interdisciplinary and interuniversity research partnerships and establishing industry incubation parks would help in this direction our system must be suited to attract indian scientists and technologists working abroad to return and work on a short term assignment we have declared this decade as the decade of innovation it should benefit the common man there are grassroots innovation that require technical and commercial assistance for converting them into economically viable products our universities and industry should maintain such initiatives in the conference of the vice chancellor of central university as i mentioned earlier in this year a recommendation was made to set up innovators club in the central university to facilitate interaction between the teaching and the student community and grassroots innovators recently i had the opportunity to open such clubs at the baba saheb bhimra ambedkar university lucknow and assam university silchar i am happy to see the innovation that have been made by the young people and show this initiative will soon reach all other central university i congratulate you for the initiative which you have taken here and the exhibition which i had the privilege to visit i would like to carry on this initiative to its logical conclusion by encouraging the local innovation i congratulate all the students who are getting their degrees today 
please remember, the Rani is never an ending process. You have to learn throughout your life, at every stage of your life. You will have the opportunity to learn and the receptive minds which will be able to take each opportunity will ultimately succeed. Dear students, after obtaining the degree, we are never leaving the portals of this alma mater. You are to face the waves of challenge in the outer world. There will be no fostering care by your teachers. There will be no advice available to you by your seniors. You will have to be on your own. But don't get upset. Don't feel nervous. Because this university has injected in you your alma mater has instilled in you the skill you require, the knowledge you require, and the confidence which you require in yourself to face the challenges. Always you shall have to keep in mind, whole world belongs to you. This is your resting place. You need not necessarily be confined to your resting place. Whole world, outer world, is awaiting for you to move ahead. As an elder demand, all my best wishes are with you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.